Hello everyone, today we're gonna have a showcase match um, for the Card Nation um, weekly tournament. So today on the top we have Aggro Nightmare and up at the bottom we have uh, Bellringer Ram Dragon. So uh, let's see how this match goes up and it seems that um, the first player to go for the player to go first has been decided and there will be Dragon. Um, that's that's gonna make uh, blood quite sad because they as the ego that they elect to go first and it seems that it seems that uh, dragon has a red pass assistant all right so mm, very nice turn one play from blood gonna put the ego on on dragon and um, dragon turn she's gonna ramp up wow that's good for dragon you know Ramping means they have more cards to play next turn. They are willing to take that two damage for the ramp, and next is gonna be a Lilith. Okay, okay. So, um, so here he can choose to evolve Lilith to become three, um, uh, three defense, but um, does get removed by some card. So he's wondering if he should evolve here, um. In my opinion, he shouldn't have evolved because um, Dragon's rare for uh, play point. So most of the time, they could just remove that 3-3 tree tree and he's going to waste that one evolve point. And he's not um, trying to trade for anything. Okay, seems like done for. Okay, a ward from the Dragon. Wow. This is gonna make blood um, a lot slower than he wish he he could. Um yeah, blood definitely wanna be a lot faster given though his aggro that oh no executioner. Wow, that's a good drop. The uh, even the executioner stats might not increase after evolving and it costs um two life to evolve. Um I guess it is is good at discarding cards that um you know a nightmare have issue removing so seems that that's the evolve right there and oh my god okay so wow <clears throat> dropping a salon gonna hurt dragon a lot man um it, going first already uh makes dragon have a uh, lesser card advantage and you know Blood don't want to play the long game, so dropping Sunlong there is good because um Sunlong can heal when he evolve, so uh, that's a good move by uh, the, the nightmare player right there. And they're gonna drop Zario, um, summoning the dragon to trade. Yep. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're figuring out. <laughs> okay. So the summon the dragon to trade, and our dragon is still on the. Uh, very good tempo right here with a big dragon on board and uh, forte to you know um push for a lot of damage but it seems that he's playing more of a uh, control variant so i don't think he have that much storm in his deck okay Oh, playful necromancer right there. <laughs> Gonna make this trade very, very worth it. So Blood is very good at trading um followers on board. That's why uh no I'm sorry, not, not Blood Nightmare. So Nightmare is one of the better class as at the moment as well. Because going second they are consistent as well compared to other craft other than maybe sword. Um because the way they are they can trade, they can trade very consistently. Uh, with that, three goes into Dragon and the Playful Necromancer into Zarya. So oh, that is a very good one by Blood. Um, Dragon slowly uh, closing to the Overflow. Uh, next turn, they will have the Overflow. So let's see what he's going to do here. He's going to pay four. Oh, he's going to pay two, sorry. And he's going to pay one. Yeah, evolve to trade. Okay, not a very good turn for Dragon right here. What else? Oh, 
and I'm going to put another RAM. Oh, it's still ramping. Um, I mean, I guess he, even if he drop forty, his forty gonna get removed next turn. So, yeah, he's 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 good to have ram. Well, um, dragon is not having a good time here, given that they only have two cards left compared to blood. They are still four cards in hand, and oh, Cerebus finally, and he's gonna pay one PP and one evolve point, the last evolve point to evolve Cerebus and he gets 2 plus 2 attack and uh, 1 deal 2 damage. Oh, he's swinging face for 1. He's not buffing the bat because he do not want the idea to, to trade with the bat and you know, uh, gains the play point, empty play point. So that's a good move right there. And you don't want to remove uh, Ilya on um, your turn because that will just give open an additional one play point next turn to um, play whatever they have against you. So there's the correct play. Uh, okay, Ilya with direct attack, trading the Cerebus, making the trade very, very awkward. And oh, wow, that remover. And uh, here comes the fourth day. And he's swinging in, I guess, evolves. Oh, evolve, yeah, evolve. Mm. I mean, yeah, okay, swings for 7 damage, putting blood at 11. But it's still out of a Genesis range, so blood is still kind of safe here. Oh, they could easily remove 40 if they want to by buffing the bat. But let's see what do they do. I'm seeing Playful Necromancer, Lilith, um, the Spectra. Um, wow. Well, oh, Playful Necromancer is the choice of play. The Summon Tree goes. I think I did saw Soul Conversion in hand as well. Yep, Soul Conversion in hand. Um, so maybe one of the goes trade into phase first. I guess. Oh, oh. Wait, the bat first? Oh, oh. Uh. Yeah, one of, one of the girls should be hitting face. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Three? Okay. Uh, then hit face, draw a last kappa. <laughs> draw last. Um, I mean, if I were him, I would just uh, go, go face, draw, and see the draw, uh, what can you play from there. But then again, um, blood one mana, they do not have anything rush, um, so that shouldn't be much, does, shouldn't make much difference, in my opinion. And uh, the guy have pain and direct attack, evolve for the rush. It becomes a 5-5. Five -five. Trades very well with the playful necromancer. And Dragon is down to one card where Blood has still have a lot of cards in hand because they have Soul Conversion. Wow. It looks like the dragon is getting controlled. Oh, so they're gonna burn that card away. Alright, that seems like oh and that's cerebus for him. What the hell? And drop the cerebus. That's gonna evolve it. Um oh but which one will, will fanfare will, will he choose first? Let's see. Oh seems like he's oh he went for plus two more attack, that's good. Because uh Nightmare have a lot of storm creatures, so Having more plus two attacks is actually very very scary because any time a storm might come down and just rush your face with all the uh, attack buff. Okay, and he chose to evolve. Nice, and four buff and one deal two damage on an empty board. Oh, okay, swing goblin, and just like that. Oh, interesting. With one mana up. Hmm. I mean, 
If I were him, I would have just buffed the goblin because uh, end of the day, the two damage will still deal two damage even if you play first or last. However, if you buff it and your opponent don't remove that two damage, survive and it's just gonna deal more and more damage o uh, over the time, and it still provide a threat on board. Uh, okay, back to the game where Dragon managed to draw a removal spell that lets them draw and draw into a ward. That's very very good for them. You know, Dragon trying to keep um try to survive and block all any storm uh, uh nightmare might have. And nightmare just draw a storm. They draw Alucard. Holy shit! I mean, given that it is a uh, eight attack, eight defense for that ward. Um. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, there's a uh, six eight. If I'm not wrong, um, they could either buff goblin or they could drop the spectral to trade, and then um, goblin go face with a lot of damage. That's uh four, it it has ten damage, and if I remember correctly, he does have a evil of goblin, so that will be that will be lethal in his deck. But he do have to watch out because dragon still have three mana open, and it could be a removal spell at quick play. So let's see how Blood wants to play this out. Looking at what of the evil we have used. It seems like double Cerebus is gone, so another Cerebus wouldn't do him much, but he doesn't have a Cerebus in hand. Um, the Lilyf trait? It doesn't seems like it. It's um an alucard. Um down with one mana. He dropped the alucard. So I get take it he's gonna buff the goblin and swing it in to the what? He's counting necromancy but misses at 9. I mean because I know because I hear the audio. And he's trading to it. Oh. Well, not wasting the strike. Alucard trades into it. Okay. And this is a more um, careful play. And he's keeping his HP above. 10 in case uh um you know dragon might just stomp him down and he play emblem rave dropping dragon to 9 hp it seems that his dice he thought he is at 13 but he's actually at 14. oh shit that's ptp half the purgatory by dragon that's the draw they need oh but the draws are not that good and he drops a ding dong. Uh, basically, Bell Ringer because she says ding dong when in the uh, mobile phone game. I uh, just call it ding dong. And a Fania uh, Dragon Warrior. What else is there? Can't seem to see what's the last card, but. Oh, that's a good draw, man. A pit, Path to Purgatory with 6 HP. He is gonna activate Path to Purgatory next turn as well. And oh, they removed the bot. Oh no, Path to Purgatory props at the end of the turn, my bad. I mean, the Ding Dong is not going to do much because it's going to get removed by the uh, the the Cerebus spell, token spell, the Coco or Mimi, I can't remember which one, and it deals 2 to it, it draws a card. Draws a Playful Necromancer. And drop a Lilith. Um, and if I'm not wrong, Playful Necromancer evolved twice, and most of the deck don't play more than two evolved Necromancer. Mm, he's keeping out three mana, uh, has a swipe in hand. Um, 
it's gonna evolve Lily for the extra mana you have and yep he plays a bet that puts him now at two mana or not three yep two mana that's correct yep and anything else from them dragon's turn right it should be his dragon's turn oh wait oh shit he have a quick spell remover okay okay let's back it up back it up didn't realize that so um he was at three so he used one mana to remove a spell and then he, it is his turn nice he draw a lucifer world finally something good i mean yeah it's a much needed one okay let's see what he does so he evolve the dragon warrior i think it's called dragon warrior i can't remember what it's called but yeah he's just gonna burn away the playful necromancer he's gonna swing face for four pushing down uh nightmare into genesis range and it's gonna drop. Why is he gonna drop? Hmm. Does he want more draw? Does he just want to put something down, uh, big down at nine mana? He could. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna drop Sun Long. He's trying to draw for a remover. And he draw into another Ram and another Lucifer. Wow. Uh, not not something that he wants to see. Oh, he's discarding the fun. Okay, he's taking back. Oh, I would rather he threw away the Ram. Um, Fania is still good, but he needs Ward. And double Lucifer should save him for a couple of turns. Um, he's gonna throw a Ram, right? And. I guess he used Shenlong here instead of Lucifer. Hi, um, this is me from the future. I'm gonna pause here because I just realized Dragon just evolved twice in a turn. I've missed it. Both the player miss it in, in the tournament. So we're just gonna take it as it is. But um, do not give this guy uh, too hard of a time because you know he's actually trying his best to survive here. And um, it could be due to... Um, carelessness that he accidentally evolved twice in a turn i highly doubt he did it on purpose uh, and since the opponent win won this match um he didn't change much of the outcome even if he double evolved so guys let's not be too harsh on him thank you but because um he don't wants to he wants to keep some mana up to scale opponents saying that oh i have some removal spell uh, keep uh, blood on their toe so that they, they can't go all in and which I say you know if um, the nightmare have uh, played buff on the goblin a few turns ago um, you could force the remover and um, if they do not remove goblin is going to hit face for a couple more um, over the last few turns and the spectra's finally see play uh, getting ripped off the ward and it brings down uh, nightmare down to 8 Hmm, so does he want to go all in? Seems that way he buff one time, checking the board. I mean, you don't pass priority when buffing, you buff all in. Alright, seems that he buff all in and he swipes for little. Yep, yep, correct, yep. They are showing their hands, discussing what they play. And it seems that, yep, even though we're going second, blood is very, very scary. And with that, uh, sorry, nightmare is very, very scary with that. Um, um, Nightmare has won the game, and uh, thank you guys for watching.